strange even in my line of work. Um, what I do isn't on paper anything too crazy. It's just the whole survivalist camp type stuff. You know, rich folks pay us to learn how to make fires and stuff. And it's pretty simple, really. Uh, once you understand the basics of it, everything's simple, of course. Then again, I tend to throw you a few things every once in a while that just kind of break that hell out of nowhere. And that's the case with a buddy of mine. He called me up maybe a month ago. He said he was in trouble. I haven't talked to him since our old army days. We kind of lost touch a little bit after I got married and moved out. Or moved on. And, you know, life happens. You know, I kept asking if he wanted to join me on a job. He does have the mentality for it, but he was doing well for himself. He was loving that single life. So it surprised the living holy crap out of me when he showed up with this absolutely gorgeous woman. Just this little petite thing, but damn. I'll tell you what, whatever she was doing was pissing the dogs off. They would not stop barking or growling at her. And well, we finally got him inside friends, not the dogs I can say out, and asked what's going on. Uh, he got himself into something, some sort of family crap, and he got himself in deep. I rolled my eyes, I don't want any mafia here. They both chuckled, this has nothing to do with mafia. Well, I should let you know that my side job that helps out is I get contracted to help people track down and take out monsters. And I don't just mean the kind of monster you hear about on the 8 o'clock news. I mean actual, no crap monsters. I guess that's why you came to me. You see, he told me that for some reason he had become a monster. This made me laugh, of course. Since I know you can't become one, you can only be born one. With the exception of genetic manipulation or some extremely powerful magic that has been seen in, well, not by anybody in a long time. You'd think somebody would have to alter reality or something. Hold on, let me get a shape-changing nerf gun. Well, my buddy was very stone-faced at this, and his girl did not actually understand the jokes. It was more interesting. She said, well, we'll prove it to you. And she started taking off her clothes. Now, I like seeing the bare chest of a lady just like anybody else, but oh, man, don't do that in my kitchen. So my friend told me, hey, if you want to prove, we'll change right here in front of you. Yeah, he thought they were joking. I'm like, what are you on? And then, of course, pants off, and I'm just like, oh, I did not need to see that tonight. Or ever. And then, I saw them both start to change. They seemed to grow larger. I mean, he's really built now, but he just got like leaner and taller. And it, it was like the, the fat was just melting off him, too. Just, you could just see all the definition in his muscle. It's the same with her. She got taller, leaner. I think her bust got a little bigger, too. But what really stuck out at first was the fact that we could see horns growing out of her head. It, I don't know how else to explain it, but it was almost like ram horns that weren't fully separated from the skull. It was just, just strange. It, it wasn't up front, like right above the eyebrows, like you would think. It was back behind the hairline where they started. 
And that's when I really started to realize, oh crap, they aren't, they aren't kidding. He just seemed to get larger, but she all of a sudden, you look at her hands and they were, they were changing into talons. Same with her feet, just straight up claws. What the hell is going on here? I stood up and backed up a little bit. I was like, what the, wah ha what, what, wah ha where's my pistol? Uh, where's my long guns? Of course, I knew where they were. Every room in the house has something. Especially in my line of work. You need to be careful. But even while changing, he, my buddy was talking. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's, we don't mean to scare you. We just, this is what we are now. When they were done transforming, they unfurled these long wings that had come out of their back. He couldn't push very far. His wings were just massive. He had to actually arc the tops down because they were pushed up against the ceiling. Hers were arced only a little bit. Of course, being smaller, she didn't need as big of wings. And it was kind of weird. As they started to move, I realized they'd grown tails. They, they looked almost like a snake. They'd grown out of their spine. What the hell are you guys? She responded, well, I, I'm a succubus, and, but you know, he was human, and now he's a, a, an incubus. Okay, um, what the, how the, how did that happen? And he just shrugged. He had that look in his eye like he knew something. Wasn't gonna say anything. When somebody's in deep like that, sometimes they'll keep the information quiet just to make sure people aren't putting more danger than they already are. At that point, my buddy sat down, which was trying because he had to actually put his tail through the opening in the back of the chair. This girl just stood next to him. He just put his arm around her waist. It was a sight to behold. These two demon-looking things. He didn't have claws or anything. He just got much larger. Her transformation was so much more. I just couldn't help but look. Now what do I do? My friends are truly not human anymore. 